Hi everyone, I, my name is Nicola and I am simply a stitcher. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back and thank you for spending some time with me today. So today it is Tuesday the 1st of March and this is floss tube number 12. So today I have some whips to show you, I have a FFO to show you and I've got a little bit of haul. It's not going to be a massively long video but you know um, I try and be as informative as I can. So I hope we're doing well. Uh, just 28 days in February, the shortest month of the year and out of those 28 days I have got stitching in on 27 of them which I'm really happy about. Um, I've also, uh, we'll go into the facts and figures later, um, but I've also managed to finish to FFO one of my projects, pancake batter. It's pancake day here in, in the UK and I've been making the batter ready for this evening and just noticed it's all over me. <laughs> I'm on my lunch break from work um, by the way, I've started my new role, um, I'm in training at the moment, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, I'm learning quite a lot, a lot of stuff that I didn't know uh, then, but I do know it now. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the FFO first, and I don't know if you, you guys would remember a couple of months ago. I have shared this on my Instagram, so if you've already seen this, my apologies. Uh, but I finished my steampunk seahorse, and I did go to frame it, and like an absolute numpty, I managed to smash the frame as I was framing it. So this the last week I was on holiday from work on annual leave so off we traipsed to Ikea and I went and got a frame so now I have FFO'd my steampunk seahorse I'm sorry it is going to be a bit glary ah, that's, that's actually not bad that's not bad so there we go that is the steampunk seahorse and it's done on 14 count Ada and it's two over one and it actually looks really good in this I'm I'm delighted with it I've just got to find somewhere to put it so yeah just use an Ikea frame for it it's it's quite a deep one um, and uh, yeah I did I, I was kind of edging towards the black but then I thought no the white is the white is is good uh, with this and let let the golds and the blues and the greens kind of speak for themselves so yeah that's my finish really pleased with that so yeah cracking so as for works in progress for whips I have worked on three pieces this month and the first one is not that one as you can see I'm terribly organised. I think everybody knows me by now. Wrinkle crinkle. So the first kit I've worked on is this. Now let's take it out. And it's the Black Cat and Butterflies uh, chartered and kitted by Gecko Rouge. This was my birthday start last month. And I got to about 18-ish percent, I think. I think I have to remind myself. And I, I can't remember what it was. Um, as it stands at the moment. Whoop, let me just roll it down a little bit. As it stands at the moment, we are currently at... 23.5% I have reached the bottom and my plan is to, to do this part next so to go anti-clockwise around but I want to kind of leave the moon bit above the cat's head until last so the next thing the feature that will come in on this will be a butterfly in these sort of blues and teals and things um, so this is stitched on 18 counts Ada and it's two over one full cross 
and it's it's just beautiful it's a lovely stitch and I've been stitching it using the method find a colour and use you know, find a, a symbol match the colour and use that thread until the thread is gone which I'm, I'm just I'm just loving uh, it's the way I used to stitch and I've kind of gone back to it so I do yeah it's not ironed not you know in any way shape or form um, but it, it looks quite good and, and I'm, I'm thrilled with it I'm just so happy with the progress that I've made on it so far so I only actually stitched two days on it this month which doesn't seem like a lot but um, I kind of got a bit of a bug on you know under my backside this month which I'll talk about in a minute so the next piece I worked on was the Maui Princess. Let me find that on my tablet. So it's a heaven and earth design. And it's a freebie chart that the last time I looked it was still available on the website. But I, I don't know if it's if it's there now because I've not looked for a while. I, I, I didn't look in the sale or anything sorry about the, the glare um but yep yeah, that's her that's the maui princess uh, just move it in a little bit so you can see her that is she's by hannah lynn uh, disney and i stitched on her six days oh. stupid tablet <laughs> i stitched on her for six days and i am now up to 24.22 percent and again, just like the uh, gecko piece, what I've been doing is working in the park threads. Well, did park threads on the gecko piece. What I've done is I've worked in my park threads and then I'm strand and complete the strand before you know, moving on to the next one. Which is, like I said, working for me. So I'm, I'm going to carry on doing it. But anyway, that is how she looks now. We have almost found, we're not far away from finding the right hand side. We've got her headpiece, her headdress is, is kind of there. And we've got lots of that beautiful red hair down the side. And oh my goodness, this lady has a lot of hair. This one is stitched on 25 count. It is 25 count even weave, one over one full cross. And as I said, up to 24.22%. So I will talk about her a little bit more when I do my aims for March. So that's her. Now, the other piece I worked on is the one that I say I had a little bit of a fire up my backside. I got this piece out from hibernation. I haven't worked on her since. Oh, it'll be back in the summer. Let me just find who. Work notes in the middle of this. Oh. Well, I think it was about April, March or April time last year. So, yes, it was a very long time ago. I've worked on this one. It can't have been. It was after I started my floss tubes. Uh, and do, do you know what? It actually, it doesn't really matter. But I think... I can't find it. Anyway, I've been working on Avarice, which is the Heaven and Earth design by Marta Dalek. Um, let me find the mock up. Um, I, I've had this one, it's my oldest work in progress. It's a 12 years old, I think it's 12 years old, 11 years old, 2011 or so, 11 years old. Um, 
is 11 years old in the summer. So this is the uh, mock-up. So she's just beautiful. I absolutely love her. She's one of the series of seven, the seven deadly sins. Uh, it's by Marta Dalek, chartered in, by Heaven and Earth Designs. I'm stitching this one over one on 25 count Lugana. And when I restarted stitching last year, I was about 60% through, something like that, I think. I'd have to go back to my very early floss tube and find out. But, um, you would have sort of seen her as that or maybe that but now we have reached the bottom and we are starting to write her name and we are only a fraction off 75 percent complete on this beautiful piece um the current is 74.04 percent as of last night and I've actually spent 19 days this month stitching on her. I just think she's stunning. She really is. So I want her finished. You know, I really do want her finished. Because she's, like I said, my oldest whip. And I want her done. Because I want to I want to start the next one. I want to do all of the sins, all the things. But yeah. So that's her. And I kind of really have had a... If you'd have seen my post on Instagram... I've kind of had a bit of a fire in, in me about, about getting her done. Uh, normally I swap out my projects after a few days to stop me getting, sorry, stop, about that, stop me getting stitch bored. But I haven't been stitch bored on this. And, and you can see just there, look, we're starting to get her name at the bottom. You've got uh, A, V, and then an A, and start of an R. You can definitely see an I there, a C. And then part of an E coming up on the bottom. I've had a, an absolute fire in me to get her done, um, and I just I didn't just didn't want to to kind of put her away. But look at the face, look at the features. Yeah, and it's it, it shines, but it's got no cranny kits. Um, it desperately needs a good wash. I know that much. I mean, for an 11 year old whip, of course, you would have. But look at the bodice. Look how beautiful that is. And I did my Stitch With Me video on this this month. And somebody did ask me about the gridding. Now, <clears throat> I won't ever grid this way again. So, what I did for this, as you can see, I've literally had some silky thread. And I've done two over two under two across. In a, I've gridded in ten by ten squares. It took me ages to grid this up, um, but I'm going to have to take the gridding out at some point, and that's going to involve me a pair of sharp pointed scissors and a set a, a pair of tweezers. It's the only way I'm going to get the thing out. Nowadays, I would use pre-gridded fabric, which I didn't on this piece. I don't think it. Ex I don't know if you could get it back when I started doing this piece, um, or if it was a plain coloured piece that's full coverage. I'd use my friction pen, which is heat erasable. Um, from what I understand, the friction pens are not very good when it comes to. hand dyed fabrics because when you heat erase it apparently it leaves a white line so I wouldn't recommend you know you, you use a friction pen for that um, but yeah I, I, I was I'm, I'm, I, I would never grid like this again I'd either get the pre-gridded or use my pen to, to be no you know sat here you know stitching for hours and hours on end and you know but there we go okay so that's all the stitching for this month. So the stats. I'm aiming for a thousand stitches a day during over the year, um, an average of a thousand a day. I am still meeting that target, as you may recall from January. I got thirty-four thousand eight hundred stitches in during January, and I've, oh God, this is my hair. I've not brushed it today. Can you tell? Uh, um, in February, 
again I've exceeded a thousand a day and I've done 29,100 even though I've had a one non stitchy day so I'm quite pleased about that um, it brings me a total for the year of 63,900 stitches now the other thing that I did want to sort of talk about in terms of average I want average to be my next finish I currently have because I've done a little bit more this morning just shy of 178,000 stitches done 178,000 out of 240,000 so if I'm stitching a thousand stitches a day by my reckoning I've got 62 checking my maths yeah 62 days of stitching to go I would love to get average finished but if I only work on the one project not only is it going to be boring for me it's going to be boring for you guys as well to do the same thing over and over again so whilst I'm going to focus on it I'm not going to focus every single day on it because I have other fish to fry I've got other projects on the go I've got pandemic which has not had a stitch in it yet I don't believe this year or if it has it's had a few I've got the Christmas window with pre-stamp piece which has had a little bit my next FFO is going to be the fellowship which still needs back stitching washing and framing I still haven't done started my new year new start which is the Leonid Afrimov piece the night cafe um, I've also seen uh, I've done a little you, you may have noticed a little tidy up of the area here and I've got quite a lot of kits amongst this lot that I want to do I also have City of Love which I want to, to start to stitch again for my friend I now have a time limit for that so that I haven't got the threads yet for the Capricorn piece because they're still the speciality threads are still not in which is most frustrating because I'd, I'd love to do that because I, it's my, my first Nora Corbett that I want to get done but I've not got that either Ugh, I've just got so much I want to do um, I have got also my gecko gem and I'm pretty sure now that I can show you guys because I've seen a couple of people who have been showing it I haven't started it yet which you can see it comes in the box and it's a pink theme so this is my haul I'm going into now so I've got this gecko gem and it said thank you for choosing this gecko gem we'll email your PDF pattern on the 21st but to keep a secret by not posting on any social media platforms until 28th of February today's the 1st of March so I've, I've, I've met uh, Kim's message there so the gem itself it's in a box with some tissue paper take a couple marks out and this is the kit it's Miss Cherry Martini and it's called L is for Lamb it's not a full coverage and I chose this kit on 20... I think it's 28 cat oh, art to check the thread card sorry doesn't tell me I can't remember if I ordered 24 or 20, uh, 25 or 28 count I think it's 25 I could be wrong it's happened before I think it's 25 count it's not a massive piece of fabric either so I've got this one to start as well which I do want to start because I do think it's very pretty it's not my normal kind of piece but my girls all saw it and fell in love with it and they were like oh mom it's beautiful and I'm like yes I know so in the pack as well in a little mus uh, organza bag I got the little 
matching needle minder which is very cute and chocolate well what do you give you know a girl with a few extra pounds you give her some chocolate <laughs> I do like my chocolate anyway right so that's that so that's my main bit of haul that I couldn't show you last month but I have had a couple of other bits of haul this month and a slight switch up of my stitching area so so my other bits of haul my colleagues from the previous department that I was working in that hair is going to bug me um, were very kind and gave me a Hobbycraft gift voucher um, now what I bought I've added a little bit to it but what I bought was a stand with a magnifying light on it that can either be battery or mains powered so that I've got a better light and a magnifier because these eyes are old and I need something a little bit better um, I can't obviously bring that in but you know I'm sure you guys will get get what I mean there's a I think it's a two times magnifier and an LED light and it's it's great um, the other thing I treated myself to some new scissors because if you see my stitch with me you remember me ranting about the tips of my scissors so I got these which are absolutely gorgeous they're called the, the color is way is called petrol and they're just by Millward and they are lovely sharp pointed embroidery scissor and as a backup I've also got this now these are squizzers and they are I don't know if you can see I don't know if you can see at the side uh, no these are not these aren't angled ignore that so they just squeeze together to cut and of course you know those are just because I like them because why not <laughs> so I've got those um, and obviously my gecko just now with a bit of haul now the other thing that I have done this month as I said I've just I've changed up my stitching area so for a long time I've been using a CS I want to say it's a siesta floor stand with a hoop excuse me beg your pardon with a hoop well when I've done the tidy up with the stitching area I thought you know what I'm going to have a look at, at how I stitch so what I've done is I've pulled out my Lowry stand which I got in September and I've never used yet and I've now swapped out my uh, siesta stand for the Lowry I got a new LBC clip frame which, which is a smaller size I think it's about 14 inches something like that and I don't have to clamp the whole thing the whole piece to it and roll it you know the way that I've got it is that um, I can clamp my piece to it but I can easily switch it out so I'm using that at the moment and it's working really really well especially with um, uh, go on brain's gone uh, it's working really well especially with something like Avris and when I'm you know or when I'm having to switch out a piece or move a piece or, or whatever it just makes it a little bit more convenient to do that and, and I'm really happy with it so I've got that set up at the moment and if I continue to be as comfortable as I am with it then I've got a couple of other clip frames and I'm going to make my new year new start actually I might start it in mania actually my new year new start because I'll be able to do that in exactly the same way and I can put the map on it as well which I haven't touched this month as well um, and basically there isn't going to be anything that I won't be able to do on the setup that I have um, I didn't find the Lowry comfortable to use a hoop which is why I've crossed to the clip frame 
Um, maybe it's because I need an ex some kind of extender or the clamps on the wrong side because of the way I, I'm a right my I'm kind of ambidextrous but mainly right hand dominant but I can just sit just as easily with my left but it's more comfortable for me to stitch with my right hand at the top which you'll have seen on my stitch with me and I think because the Lowry clamp is set on my right hand side and me constantly knocking it with a hoop that's what made me go for the bigger stand so I can kind of move a little bit away from where the clamp is and work on, you know, without getting my hand knocked on it. But anyway, so that's that. So set up my new stitching area. That That's what I'm kind of getting to. Okay, so plans for the coming month. Um, I would like to put on 5% each on the Maori Princess and 5% on my gecko kit, the black cat with butterflies. I'd like to try and put, uh, well the average is up to almost 75%, I'd like to try and get her to 80% if I can. I'd also want to try and pull out the Middle Earth map because I've missed stitching on that uh, this month. Um, yeah, So I think I'm, I'm going to be looking at doing that. In terms of haul or anything like that, I've got nothing on order. Uh, there's no surprises. Next month I probably won't have any haul unless the speciality threads come in, which I'm still keeping an eye out for. I just can't seem to, to get all three threads from the one place in the UK. I mean, they're expensive enough as it is without adding on an individual postage cost for each, hence why I want to get them all at once. Um, I would say money's not an object, but money is an object at the moment because of rising prices here in the UK. We've got gas and electricity prices that are going through the roof. The cost of living, living is spiralling out of control. And I'm thanking my lucky stars that I, I know that I'm very fortunate that I got this, this wee promotion at work, which is helping with that. But I still don't want to waste money if I don't have to. So that's that. So that's my plans for next month. So I want to just move on to life stuff. Um, so if you're only here for the stitching, thank you so much for joining me. If you've not hit that subscribe button, please do so. Your subscribes make all the difference to me and I've seen a jump again this month for which I thank you all uh, of those of you who are subscribed already. Um, I'm also on Instagram and the details are, are as ever in the box underneath. But yeah, so just moving across briefly to live stuff. I don't want to spend too much on this because we've already been going half an hour and time is just running away with me and I haven't had my lunch yet and I'm due back in training in 25 minutes. And I've got all the stitching stuff to put away. So, last month, February, it was Valentine's and me and Andy um, have a mutual policy don't buy one another anything just get a card and we'll celebrate it later because I don't see why he should pay three times the amount four times the amount for flowers when he can get them next week you know for the for the price of the, you know fortnight previous uh, I really don't need any more chocolate I certainly don't need any stitchy stuff um, so what we decided to do was rather than um, exchange a gift was to actually treat ourselves to a night away which we did so we went to a seaside resort which is about an hour away from us uh, it's on the Lincolnshire coast it's called Cleethorpes if you're not in the UK um, there's some amusement arcades and a bit of fun to be had and then there's a nice seafront to walk down and there's a fish and chips place on the pier and then we stayed a night in a hotel and we had a walk around a couple of villages the next day for Andy's filming and it was just lovely. It was a night away and it was desperately needed. Um, so we did that. Um, that was one of my non-stitchy days. That, the non-stitchy day was that day, should I say. Um, my stepdad is watching not very well again. So he's back in hospital. So he's causing a little concern at the moment. Um, but he's in the best place and you know what else can I do except just hope and pray that he's going to be okay um my let's see what else is happening uh 
my new job has started yesterday my new role I'm in training it's quite good I'm learning a lot um, it's nice living the nine to five life um, because that's where it will be from here on in uh, what else what else what else what else I don't know if there is anything else really no nope, don't think there is the only thing I do want to say is and I've never ever made a personal or political or any kind of statement like that issuing you know my thoughts on something but what I will say is this three years ago Andy and I visited the Ukraine we went to the exclusion zone and we took a tour of Pripyat and Chernobyl and some of the environs around there we had an amazing time we met some amazing people we were made to feel very welcome by the Ukrainian people we stayed in a beautiful hotel we ate like kings on pauper's money um, the cost of living out there is so incredibly low and we were seen as, as essentially as rich people uh, even though we are you know by no means are we rich you know it, it's it's a wonderful country that even though the people there do not have much what they do have they can give they give back in friendship we have a friend of ours out there who lives out there is one of andy's old school friends and of course we're very concerned for him and his relatives and his friends welfare i support the people of the ukraine um i would stand behind them 100 percent. and if any of you other stitchy friends out there go and have a look on etsy uh, have a look on instagram you'll see lots of posts from people who are promoting people who sell cross-stitched pdf designs who are in the ukraine if we can support and help the people who are undergoing this awful situation as it is right now just by making a small purchase then if every one of us did that it would make a huge difference i will stand behind ukraine 100 percent and if i do make any purchases this month my purchases will be to help and support sellers in the ukraine who are affected by the conflict that has been brought upon them so that's all i'm going to say on that matter um and we're going to go back to the regular schedule and say to you all thank you very much indeed for coming and spending some time hanging out with me it's a pleasure to sit here month on month and talk to you all um i love the feedback i love the comments and i may not reply to every i only reply to a very select few but i, I do endeavor to acknowledge your comment at the very least by you know putting a heart on it of course you can follow me on instagram and the details and things are all down below and i'll also put excuse me the details of this month's projects uh, in the box down below as well so that's it that's all from me so take care happy stitching do stay safe and even in this time where certainly here in the uk covid restrictions have lifted please do stay mindful uh, of covid and don't you know put yourselves at risk um, I've seen a few people who've, who've had it recently um, and have been affected by it and of course you know um, I, I don't want you know to hear that, that you know, my friends are, are unwell and, and, and so on uh, so do stay safe um, and I will see you mid-month for a stitch with me I keep saying I'm going to do more than one a month and I never get round to it I'm really sorry but I'll certainly see you mid-month for a stitch with me and then at the beginning of April, on April Fool's Day, no less, here in the UK, although I'll not be you know, making any kind of fools uh, for my next Flash Tube update. So, take care. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.